Hi guys, a lot of you have been asking about how I reinforce my MiG-29 V1 and I promised to make a quick video to show how I did that. Um, I'm going to uh, do that uh, here quickly. Um, what I used is foam tack uh, adhesive that I got from uh, Greg and Jay at FRC Foamies and drywall mesh tape and I'm going to show you how I did that today. But first I'm going to show you uh, this is where the magic happens, where I build airplanes. and um, So this is uh, where I'm going to do my little tutorial. And this is the airplane uh, that I first tried it on. And if you look at the edges, it looks a lot like, um, I don't know how well you can see it in the, in the video, but it looks a lot like the extreme packing tape um, because it's got that fiber... Um, mesh but it adds very very little weight and if you look at my elevons for example um, they are almost 100 percent covered in fiberglass uh, drywall tape and it is very light but as a result of the that mesh and the foam tack glue it ends up being very very strong and i'm really happy with it um, so Anyway, um, this is uh, something that's very similar that a lot of people have used is Fabri-Tac and I've also experimented some with that. I've built a couple of planes with it, not exclusively, but I did use it. Um, it works well. There are some things that I don't like about it as much compared to the uh, foam tack uh, glue. A um, couple of things that, uh, the downsides that I saw to the Fabri-Tac versus the foam tack is I actually had problems um, this is one of the very first airplanes I ever built and it's no longer uh, in flying condition you might not be able to see really well but it the Fabri-Tac when I put my wing together I actually this is two layers thick because of some repairs and it's pretty hard to see but it actually melted the wing um, pretty extensively there's it's hard to see but anyway it was very disappointing and that's because of the way I applied it. I put it on too thick and and uh, if you put it on thin it's, it works well. The foam tech I haven't had the same problems melting the foam um, so I've been really happy with it uh, with that regard. The foam tech also goes on a lot easier, um, nicer and neater looking. Um, I don't have a full example but if you look at this piece I was experimenting with the uh, Fabri-Tac and foam tech hinges and if you look, this one I didn't put any drywall mesh tape in, but this is foam tack, or excuse me, this is fabric tack, and it's really kind of a little bit difficult to get it to look smooth and even. It's kind of rough and bubbly, and, and you end up putting a lot more glue on it. I did the same thing right next to it. And this is only half the hinge. I was trying to see how strong it was, and I, I tore the other half off. This side with the foam tack... Um, you can smear it on real thin and very smooth and hopefully you can see the difference in the camera between how rough the Fabri-Tac came out for me and the foam tack hinge or yeah the foam tack hinge just comes out really nice and neat and you hardly have to put any material on it it's I really like that about it um, and it makes everything lighter so uh, when I when I reinforced every single leading edge, every trailing edge, about 90 to 95 percent of the elevons are covered in fiberglass and foam tack. I added only 17.6 grams of weight to the uh, entire plane, so less than an ounce, about three quarters, or I think even less than three quarters of an ounce uh, was added by reinforcing every single uh, joint and even the entire fuselage bottom, I'm not going to flip it over right now, is uh, uh, reinforced this way. So I like it. It's strong. Um, the foam tack does uh, clog up the nozzle and it'll dry out. They send a separate cap. You need to put this cap on every time you use it. And I, I uh, found that my nozzle was clogging badly after each use. And so when I'm finished using it for the day, I put a little, this is actually a little control rod that I had laying around, and I just shove it up through. Can you hold that, Kirsten? 
I just shove it up through all the way and then that when I'm ready to use it again it uh, I can just pull this out and it should be good to go hopefully and not uh, clogged so today I'm going to demonstrate um, how I how I did this and before I before I do actually I, I was going to show uh, I had a piece of foam oh right here this is one that I uh, oh sorry this shows the weight um, I weighed this piece of foam before I did anything to it just the bare foam it weighed 2.3 grams I reinforced this edge with the drywall mesh and foam tack and I added 0.8 grams uh, to the total weight and this is about 18 inches long so an 18 inch piece of reinforcement added 0.8 grams uh, full length and then I did the same thing with the extreme fiber uh, extreme tape and it added uh, 2.7 grams versus the 0.8 grams that I added with fiber tack and or excuse me foam tack in the drywall tape so the uh, comparison between extreme tape and the uh, foam tack and and mesh was uh, that the tape was more than three times heavier than the uh, fabric tack and or the, excuse me the foam tack and the and the drywall tape so that's significant um, let me show how strong it is and then I'll show you how to do it uh, Let's see. I mean, if I if I just take you know everybody knows this blue core foam is very easy to tear. It's weak, and if you reinforce it, uh, you know which is really important. If you crash your planes like I do, then uh, it becomes a lot stronger. This hardly has any foam tack on it, but I'm gonna show you if I if I if I was to crash with this, I cannot. I cannot break it. Um, you know, I can. I just can't break it. It's strong. So I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but I couldn't. I can't rip it. It's strong stuff. And so, if you can imagine, you know, impacting your wing or part of the plane that's not reinforced versus something that has this reinforcement on it, it's really impressive and. Uh, the difference is significant in, a, in an impact and since it adds so little weight that's cool okay so um, and then I've, I've done the same thing uh, MP Miles Jr. E3 Scott Greg uh, F1 wannabe those guys have have made these hinges out of them and they're really strong and and that's actually how I got the idea was experimenting with the hinges and then trying to rip them see how strong they were and I realized you know what if I reinforce the edges and the elevons and everything that would make the whole plane strong and it adds very little weight and that's where I got the idea so all you do is uh, this is the drywall tape that I've used I suspect that any I bought it because it said it was thin which I assumed would make it lighter um, I bought this at Home Depot and you know this is 300 feet of it I'm probably never use all of it but yeah you will <laughs> yeah I, I build a lot of planes um, but it's just fiberglass mesh and so since I'm using a I'm, I'm gonna just reinforce a small leading edge on this foam I need to take off you always want to take on the blue core foam which I use you always want to take off the the uh, plastic sheet in order to let me get this out of the way too in order to uh, be able to bond to the foam and not that sheet so I'm just gonna cut a piece of this and show you how I do it actually let me do the full length sometimes the edge piece comes up so I just cut it like that and on this since I'm only going to do I'm only reinforcing just a single layer of dep it's not Depron but the blue core foam I don't really need this full thickness and so I typically take this and just cut it in half quickly don't have to be exact and then come in here and if you notice 
it has just a little bit of stick to it. Hard, hardly, I mean, it doesn't, it's, there's no strength, but it's enough that it's actually kind of nice. I'll cut this to the right length. But it's kind of nice because uh, when you go to apply it to a, an airplane to the edges, it'll hold itself in place long enough for you to apply all the, the uh, pieces that you want to apply. So I just take that, rub it down, and then fold it over. And I typically round the edges first, but I'm not going to do that in this video. And then see, it's, it's actually holding itself in place just fine, uh, even without the glue. There's no real strength there without the glue, but it holds it there nicely so that when you're ready to apply the glue, it'll be in the right spot. So real quickly, this is how you do it. Take your cap off. This kind of annoys me. This little uh, seal always gets stuck. I always have to pull it off each time. Then you just apply your uh, applicator and you saw what a small, I just have a little uh, opening for the uh, glue and you don't need a big bead. And if you can get down on what I'm doing, Kirsten, I, I'm just going to, once I get the glue down, you hardly need anything. It's kind of, I think it is clogged a little bit, so I'm going to clean this out or maybe the glue hadn't gotten to it. If I can get it to flow, that's the one thing that I don't like about this is that it clogs. Okay, it's ready. You hardly need to put anything down. And so what I do is I go along the edges and I just put a real thin bead, just very thin. And I don't know how well this will show up on the camera, but I go across like that all the way around the edges just very little is needed. And then I go real quick like that, and that's it. Then I take a scrap piece of foam and just like as if you were doing the, the uh, hinge for the elevator or another control surface and just rub it smooth, that's done. Then I do the exact same thing to the other side. And when you're done, it's strong and you saw how strong you know it was when you try and rip it 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 takes a lot of strength to break and so um, this is nice it's a little bit tacky right now it tacks quickly and it's you know it doesn't stick to my hands which I like it'll stick to the table if you leave it sit there too long but um, in just a couple of minutes it's kind of tack free and uh, within about 20 minutes, I think it's uh, pretty strong. Um, and then the bottle says to leave it overnight and it should be full strength. But this is the uh, top secret method that I've been using to reinforce um, my latest plane. And, I'm, and it's, I'm so happy with it. I'm pretty sure I'll do this on uh, probably all of my future planes that are at least of this type especially with this blue core foam not being as strong. So anyway, if you have questions, um, you can PM me or ask a question on the forum. And uh, otherwise, um, I think that's about it. Oh, and the, and the other thing that I really like, let me show you on, on my planes. I'm going to take this. On my planes, um, this is my Alpha Jet. Uh, one thing that I dislike, I always reinforce. I build heavy, and I always reinforce all of my edges. And, and I tend to be a heavy builder. And one thing that I didn't like, though, is that you can't paint this tape. And so I've always taken marker to uh, uh, color the tape so that it's not just clear tape. So all of my planes that are of this type have that uh, tape border, but I always uh, just color it with marker. This tape, though, this new method, I can paint. And I can paint it whatever color I want. and. Uh, and the, the paint adheres just fine to the drywall and the foam tack. So I really like it. That's another big plus to, uh, to that method. So anyway, thanks, Kirsten. <laughs> and uh, like I said, this is where the magic happens. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks.